Good morning, everyone. We have a super special Facebook Live science demo for you today. And it's not just me, Becky, our museum science educator, and my science helper. MJ. We have brought dad, known as David, in today. And we are making the Wolf family band today. Dad Ooh. is the special guest. And dad is definitely the special guest That's for this one. Special guest. Yes. Um, so we always talk about science and we're talking about music and science today because one of the things that we love as a family is we love making music, but we also have really enjoyed learning about the science of how we make music. And so, so a little bit about basics about sound is that sound is produced when things vibrate. And with music, over many, many years, people have learned how to harness the, the vibrations and amplify them and construct instruments that use those vibrations. So a lot of people might be familiar with string instruments. So this is one you may not have seen. This is a dulcimer. Hang on just a second. Hang on just a second. Um, this is a dulcimer my, that my grandfather made and it is strings. It's a lot like a guitar. So I'm gonna pluck a string and you can hear the sound. What's happening is that string is vibrating to make, make music. And so that's a really simple way but one of the super cool things about music as well is that you can use air to vibrate things. Like this. And hang on just a second. We're gonna demonstrate how to do your own in just a second. But we have brought in dad because not only is he a super smart scientist too, and but a lovable one. And a lovable <laughs> one. But he's also a trumpet player. And we're gonna let him Oh, so explain. am I actually. Yeah. Actually, I'm and like Jason. I'm terrible at it, so. We're gonna let dad explain a little bit about the vibration in air and how a trumpet works. So we're gonna turn it over to Dad and let him explain this. Okay, so wind instruments and the brass family in specific generate sound by vibrating an air column. What you do is you put your mouth on the mouthpiece and as you blow air through your lips, they start to vibrate and they vibrate the air column inside the brass instrument, in this case, my trumpet. But you how, how do you vibrate your lips, Dad? You mind telling us? Uh, thank, you do, thank you. you pierce, uh, Make, yeah, oh, like Mary, like Mary yes, Jane showed us. Yeah. You, you say the letter M and then you blow. So, mm. so technically that's kind of an instrument. That is kind of an instrument. And you, <laughs> there are people that will practice going, <laughs> which is a lot of fun, but it sounds so much better when you put it uh, through an instrument that's tuned to do that. We vibrate the air column and it makes a, a series of pitches on our brass instrument and we have valves or a slide to change the length to get different intervals. So as I uh, blow into my the mouthpiece and start to play, we'll be able to hear different sounds coming out. So what you just what you just saw me do is blow into the horn and I was able to change the length of the horn, the length of the tubing by using the different valves, and I can play a nice melody. But you have to remember that it's in, you don't just use these. You also have to tune it with, with um, you, you also have to tune it yourself. It's not just all that. Yeah, right. so there's a lot that goes into an instrument. And one of the things that David mentioned is the length. And that's really um, important is how much the air has room to vibrate. and. One of the other things that vibrates with air is our vocal cords. Like this. And so one thing we want to have you guys want to demonstrate is we want everybody um, to sing a favorite song. And and then you're going to put your, your or you could just talk and actually you can just talk to this too, but we're going to you can sing a favorite song. Uh, and, uh, uh, we sing. Dear a female dear. Way a drop of golden sound. What's up there? So as okay, that's one of yeah, that's one of my favorite songs. As a family. So we put our fingers up here, and we could feel our vocal cords vibrating. And the reason why we all sound a little different is as we're all different. We're all different, and it has to do with the shape and size of our vocal cords. And we can be louder, or we can change. We change the pitch by moving our mouth. Again, it's just changing how the air moves. So that's some quick science about music. And it's it's super fun to learn. We're, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to harness the power of vibrations and air to make some different instruments. And so we're gonna do straw oboes. 
We're going to show you how to do a bottle band. And then we're also going to make a percussion instrument. Which one should we start with? This one. All right. So I, I can make it. how this is going to work is you're going to take a straw. And we tried this with a couple different ones. We have a bendy straw. These are really fun. Um, we have the milkshake straws. There you go. And all we did, you may have seen what Mary Jane did is, and I'm going to demonstrate this real quick. All you do is you take the end of the straw and with your scissors, you make a point. And so adults, like you may this. have to help with this part because it is a little, and you, a little tough. And um, if you don't get yours to work right away, just make your little triangle part a little bit longer. And it doesn't have to be super perfect. Um, it just has to. <laughs> ah, that's crazy. I'm going to do one too. I didn't work. <laughs> oh, that's such a crazy sound. So, <laughs> so this just makes me laugh. There we go. So yeah. now we're, this is one thing that Wolf Family Band does. So what's happening is we're gonna we're gonna and hold our instruments for a second. Mm -hmm. Is the air is vibrating these two little points on our straw, and as the air moves through, it's making the sound. The straw, the straw vibrating is forming the reed, just like my lips were when I was playing. So this is an example of a reed instrument, like an oboe or a clarinet, where you have something um, that's vibrating. Rather than being the lips vibrating, your air is causing something to vibrate. And so you can experiment with different types of straws, different lengths of straws. So I bet if I cut mine and Mary Jane... Oh, wait, Mommy, you showed me something really... You showed me something really cool. Can I show them? Yeah. I need this. Okay. Um, I'll tr yeah, you blow, I'll trim. <laughs> so that is um, showing you can do that little trick. Um, so as we change the length of the straw, we change the pitch. I keep so, dropping it. I know. So that's because straw I, oboe. So that's really fun. I want to show them something. Well, let's. Every, let's, let's go on to the next I, one. Can I just say one thing? Over. What's that? Everything makes a sound. It does. And um, even. Really soft sounds that you may not be able to hear. You probably won't be able to hear this, but we can. Yeah, it's you we're moving the air. So Yeah, and it makes a sound, but you probably you probably can't. All right. Hear it. So now we're gonna move on to another way to use vibrating air. And what we've done, we have some soda bottles and a sparkling water bottle, different sizes. And as Mary Jane's demonstrating what we're doing. We sound like an ancient tribe. We do. So if we could hold our instruments, we'll family band. What we're doing, it's so, we just want to play. Where's that, what, where's that cup? So what we're doing is we are putting our lips right over the top of the bottle and blowing across. And that is vibe and the vibrations and how much air, room the air has to move takes the pitch. So what I've done is I put a little water in MJ's bottle. Mine's empty, same size. And David's a little bit bigger, so we get different pitches. So if we can all pick up our bottles, and we can blow. You can hear, we'll do one by one. David. And it takes a little bit of practice, but this is a way, so this is really similar to how a flute works. And so when somebody plays the flute, they change the length of the instrument to make different pitches. And we couldn't forget percussion because that's everybody's Back favorite. To, wait, wait, what is that? What is that cup of like straws? Um, we'll get the straws in a second. Um, so what we'll do is we're gonna use. I'm going to cut this. You cut that one while I explain. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our jars into some drums. So what um, MJ's doing is cutting a balloon, and we just want to cut the tail part off. And there we go. <laughs> yep, and they're, they're a little hard to cut. They are a little hard to cut. Here, let me try. There we go. There you go, kiddo. Snip, snip, snip. Sorry, it's really hard to cut. And Here. like sometimes. And these aren't very sharp scissors. Well, and sometimes with scissors, if you go closer to the, the t inside, there we go. And hold on. Then. Go all the way up. There you go. There we go. Yay! All right, so yeah, you definitely might need adult help on that one. So, um. I'm going to cut this balloon. And then you basically take the top of the balloon and you flip it and not flip it. Yeah, you stretch. So what we've done is we've taken the balloon and we have just stretched it over the top. I made a bunch of these before we 
And before yeah. we even knew them. I want to go get them, but I want to see them. So um, I'm actually going to make this a little tighter. And then you need, we have our straws again, you need something that can be used um, to tap on the balloon. And so what's happening is, again, we're using vibration. We're vibrating the balloon. And if, um, and this one actually I'm going to make it a little smaller. I mean, the balloon has to be pretty tight across the balloon, uh, across the jar. So if you get a little bit of an extra space, just make your balloon a little smaller. I'm going to do that real quick on this one. And then stretch it over. And so I bet we're going to have a different sound. Ooh, that's really different. What are we doing at the same time? So, and, well, then, and we have... Just to note, we are going to be doing all of these at the yes. end. So it's going to make it... <laughs> they just love the instruments. So, yeah, so all of this is vibrating. So we're vibrating the air, we're vibrating the balloon, and because we have more air in the jar, it makes a different sound. So to make the Wolf Family Band, you can put all of this together. So what are you going to play, a bottle, an oboe, or the percussion? I'll take these. You can go, uh, Jackie, what are you going to play? I need both. Um, I think I'm going to go between the two bottles. Okay, well, I'm going to do an oboe. So this is where you can just start making your own music. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> so this is the crazy sound. So we're going to go cut with our instruments. So this is a really fun, loud activity. It's a gorgeous day today, so definitely. Cut doesn't mean you cut your instruments. It just means stop playing. Exactly. So when the drugs just cut or stop. Um, so we, it's a gorgeous day, so definitely take this outside. If you're using water, you can be really loud with your straw oboes. But try um, not to um, annoy your um, neighbors. Yeah, we may have done that last night, practicing oboes because they're a little loud. But we were having a really, really good time. So we hope that you have enjoyed this extra special edition of our science <laughs> experiments with our Wolf Family Band. And we hope that you will take some videos of your family band and the instruments that you create. And as long as you have something that's vibrating and you have some air vibrating, you can make an instrument. So it's definitely a lot of creativity. And follow along at children'smuseum.org, TCM at home for more great ideas. And we hope you all have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.